Hey, folks, uh, this lesson is uh, problem solving that have uh, constraints. This is module 4.3. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. This is an integrated math 3 lesson. So how do we model situations to meet real world constraints? OK, so um, it's dealing with uh, prior knowledge and, and, and we'll see. So, so here's one, you guys. So we have 150 cubic centimeters of wax and we want to make a cylindrical ca uh, candle right, right here, okay? So we want the height and the diameter to be equal. So what is the radius and the height? So careful of the wording here. This says diameter and then we're asked for the radius, okay? All right, so... The candle's volume is uh, base times height, and the base is a circle, so pi r squared times h, okay? And remember, h equals the diameter, so they have to be equal to each other, okay? So uh, since the diameter is twice the radius, then h equals 2r, okay? So, so the volume, instead of putting h in there, we put in 2r right there. So I'll slide this 2 over here. And then put the r with the r squared makes it r cubed right there, okay? All right, so now we set uh, this number, 150, equal to this because this is our setup right here. So when we do that, we're going to divide both sides by 2 pi. Can you see that? And then we're going to, um, uh, let's see, get the decimal of 150 divided by 2 pi. So hopefully you have a calculator. And 150 divided by 2 pi. Um, I had a student uh, struggle with this, so you might have to put parentheses around this when you do that, or or get the decimal of 2 pi, which is 6.28 and some change, okay? And then do 150 divided by that. But make sure you're getting that decimal. Now that's r cubed. We need to find r, so we're going to take the cube root of that. Hopefully you have a calculator that does that, a scientific calculator. Uh, so find your cube root button, okay? And then um, and then so when you cube root that, we get about 2.9. All right, let's answer the question. So what is the radius and the height to the nearest tenth? So that's why I rounded it to 2.9. So the height is going to be two of those, so 5.8, okay? All right, let's try another one here. So we want to make a conical candle. So using 15 inches cubed of wax. So if the candle's height is twice the diameter... All right, what's the radius and the height to the nearest tenth? Okay, so remember the height is twice the diameter. I think I did capital D in the last one, but that's all right. So the diameter is twice the radius, so the height is equal to four times the radius right there, okay? So the volume of a cone is one-third the area of the base times the height. So the area of the base is pi r squared because it's a circle. All right, so now we're going to plug in 4r right there, okay? So when we do that... We'll put the 4 over here on top up here, and we'll put the R with that, so it becomes 4 thirds pi R cubed right there, okay? All right, so now we set the 15 equal to that 4 thirds pi R cubed, and what I'm going to do is uh, wrap this in parentheses right there and multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 4 thirds and divide by pi. So we're going to multiply both sides by um, 3 over 4 pi, okay? So um, they cancel out on the on the right over there, and then so I did 15 times 3, which is 45, and then 45 divided by 4 pi gets me about 3.58. So now we got to cube root that again. I hope you have a calculator. So we get the radius to be about 1.5 right there. Okay. All right, so the height is four times that, so it's about 6.0. Notice it said round to the nearest tenth right there. So, uh, so um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, I had all of those uh, numbers left in my calculator. So when I when I multiplied it times four, I got about six point one. But anyways, okay, uh, you should you should be okay with that. Okay, so if you're in my class, I'm going to give you that for your homework. Take care.